A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Simeon, the prophet, came in the spirit into the temple. And when the parents of Jesus brought in the child to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, Simeon took Jesus into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before my mother died, I was sitting in her room at the Bay Woods home, looking at all the pictures my sisters had hung on the walls to help her remember her 65 years as a wife and a mother of nine children. And there was a moment where there were many memories that stirred up in me. And I'd like to share those memories with you today. Through her gentle companion presence, my mother taught me much about Mary and Nazareth. The first imprint my mother made was her warm, gentle presence. Hospitality and graciousness were the immediate responses to everyone who entered her home. Let me give you a little something to eat and drink, were her actions rather than her words. She was most comfortable serving and waiting on people, filling them to the full and then some. My mother had a great contentment for she lived a life dedicated to her family and she had few needs or wants. She was grateful for whatever she had because it always seemed more than expected. She rarely spent on herself. Her generosity was to her children and her spouse. She loved to help in times of trouble and in times of calm, and she had some simple wisdom for those who sought her counsel or to support. I hope everyone has in his or her life a loving person who's free to be for others, a generous person who draws out our best qualities and quiets the negative and selfish voices within, it, within us. For me, my mother was an anamkara, which is the Irish term for soul friend. Her favorite place was the kitchen table, where she would always invite me to sit and talk with her. There were those moments when I would open my heart to my mother, even as I got older as a priest, and she listened, absorbing my pains and my wounds, and then giving me peace and comfort in exchange. Her simple expressions carry great healing power because she lived in the depth of the Lord. My mother reminds me in some ways of the woman the mother of Jesus must have been. Mary could not have been uh, a lady, a holy person who made other people uncomfortable and speechless. I'm beginning to think of Mary as she advanced in age to what her cousin Elizabeth was when she carried John. Just imagine Mary with wrinkles, but still with that smoldering fire of the Holy Spirit deep within her. She must have been the light and joy of the entire neighborhood, drawing so many people to herself to experience a hint and a hope of what lay ahead for them. Mary must have lived each day so full of grace and joy, so full of peace and contentment, that nothing more could be added to that day, poured into this moment, into this day. Let me conclude with you by sharing a litany that I once created for Mary, my mother and yours. Woman, mom, Mary of rattling teapots and homemade cookies. 
Mary of open door, open hearth, open heart. Queen of warmth and hospitality. Strong, fragile woman. Believer in love, reality, people, God. Backed, stooped, and ear bent in listening to life stories and to the giver of life. Stubborn fidelity to life in the face of death. Unflinching spirit that stares light into the darkness of the tomb. Heart that breaks and pours love over the thirsty earth. Missing her son when he has gone to another home. Looking up in sudden expectancy of hearing his voice. Growing in expectancy of a second birth, this time her own. The moment of reunion rushes to meet her with open arms, and their laughter rocks the universe, sending happy shock waves to echo in our dreams. Tugging our reluctant mouths into smiles of hope and anticipation. Amen. It will be so. Amen.